how I could get other people to think in different ways, like uh, depending on how I ask something. It's not good, good enough, so you gotta be great, and I'ma do whatever it takes. Doing what I love for life, and I'll pay the price, and not stopping even if the shit kills me, even if it kills me. Hello, my friends, and welcome to a Macron Talks. This is episode 186, and my name is Matthias Grunborg, aka Macron. And here in this show, I share my scale up journey, building my company from nothing to something. And of course, with me as usual, the one and only Svea <laughs> Malina Lanshoff, my co host and friend. How are you doing, Svea? Hi, Matthias. I'm doing very good. Friday coming up, weekend's just around the corner. Let's roll, I would say. Welcome to Macron Talks. This is where entrepreneurship runs smack into reality. I want to have a harder smack to today. So we smack into reality three times every week on Monday, Wednesday, and on Friday. And we do have a whole framework in place for you. Matthias, do you want to take the framework? Yes, uh, we have a framework and every Monday we talk about uh, self-development and I share my own journey growing as a human being and a leader and then every Wednesday we talk about all the things I'm learning in the entrepreneurial process and then every Friday we talk about all the things I have learned, things I could have done differently and we are also celebrating the victories, victories of the week. That was the That's framework. it. Thank you. That's the framework. <laughs> That's the framework that uh, smacks into reality like this. Reality. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. felt today the smack wasn't really good, so I had to do it again. But yeah. uh, I would say let's take it away and start with our Friday episode with, well, you know, where we talk about the week, things you have learned. Where do you want to start this Friday? Uh, yeah, I think mm -hmm. uh, uh, it, it's the second week in a row now. Uh, where I've been on a uh, leadership training mm -hmm. for three days. So, uh, so um, yeah, I have learned I have learned a lot this week. I'm actually a bit on uh, overload. I'm I'm overloaded with uh, uh, information, and uh, but it's very fun as well because it's a very you know practical course. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know there's a lot of like you know, kind of teaching sessions, uh, we discuss things and then uh, we actually go out in groups and, and, and practice uh, all the things that we, we are learning. And then we also have like reflections and discussions. Uh -huh. So and do you have something and, like uh, a main topic every time you meet? Like uh, this model is all about this and this or how does that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yes, yes. Uh, it's a lot of like there is an agenda like yeah. there topics what we need to go through um so it's a certification uh at the end so 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 there is of course things that should be you know checked off yeah. um i can share something and uh, that i'm actually thinking about right now yeah i'm curious which is uh, <laughs> and there is of course like three days mm -hmm. there's a lot of things we could talk about but uh, I just before we started, I actually thought about uh, like the power of a question. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, how many different ways you, you could ask questions, and uh, it's a like a game changer for me actually. How I could get other people to think in different ways, like uh, depending on how I ask something, and mm. so we had a, like an, a, a discussion in the. the uh, say stand up uh, earlier this week wh where we were talking about um, uh, there was some misunderstanding in a customer project we, we started a project and uh, like uh, the it, yeah like you know it's expect expectation management yeah. uh, where uh, uh, where we need to communicate okay the scope is now changed mm. uh, so we 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 need to update the quote as well, on the on the, the price tag as well. Hmm. So and then we we, we like discussed okay, um, what could we do? Uh, like uh, what <laughs> what what could we do to not end up here? You know, next time. Yeah. Uh, and then just asking the uh, the question like. What, what are we doing here? Mm. Like, what are we doing today to actually get unclear? 
mm-hmm. like yeah. uh, so it, you know um it's kind of a huge difference uh, if, if if i ask that question to the you Svea, mm-hmm. like uh, what should you do next mm-hmm. time to uh, not make a uh, unclear quote mm-hmm. or what are we doing today yeah to uh, as, achieve this stage where the quotes get unclear like that's it's, it's it's kind right? of the same yeah. like yeah exactly yeah um, it's yeah, it's a kind of the same thing, example, but, but I... <laughs> no, no, I understand what you mean. It's kind of the same, but it's it's very different when you look at this from these. But it's the same thing, but you look at it from different perspectives. And I think um, the one is also more. I feel that the, the one is more positive. It's like solution oriented. What could we do to improve this? And the other one is more like what's going wrong, which is not the wrong question, but a different angle. I I know what you mean, and it, that's an interesting yeah. thing thought. That, yeah, I never thought about it. That even if you have kind of the same question, you can really formulate it in different ways. Maybe also have different outcomes and different mindsets how you, how you work with it. That's interesting. That's something from your leadership training that you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. And and uh, for me, it's you know if if I look at uh, and that's the topic I think I talk a, a lot about right now. Like something I I need to change. Something I can um, do differently is really from a leadership perspective, very connected to my entrepreneurial journey, uh, you know, I really want to help people all the time. Yeah. Like I'm I'm kind of always giving you the solution, how mm. you should do something. And, uh, and instead of like uh, really working uh, with questions and uh, like, uh, staying uh, on uh, my side of the line mm-hmm. and uh, letting other people, you know, find their own solution yeah. to their their problems they need to solve in their in the, in their role. So I, I, for me, this is uh, it's very big. It uh, I, I I really feel I, I take baby steps uh, mm-hmm. as a coach, so to speak. So yeah, that's great. It's um, so not giving solutions, asking the right questions, so people yeah. can figure it out themselves. I like that. Okay, yeah. so you had your leadership training there. Thank you for sharing yeah. some. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for sharing some insights. Um, anything else you want to talk about this week? Uh, I think uh, so. Uh, something that was really good this week, uh, like uh, a lot of kudos or. Karma. Karma, yeah, we, we changed it. We, we, changed, <laughs> uh, we changed that a couple of weeks ago. We changed um, we changed the um, the tool or the app that is connected to Slack. So we, we are, yeah, I think the name of, of the app is now Karma yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah. So now we're giving each other Karmas. <laughs> karma. So, um, but I still like, you know. Yeah, the victory. Celebrating uh, with the arms, yeah. Kudos, yes. <laughs> Let's keep the arms. Absolutely, so the love weekly, it. The weekly victory um, this week, I think, um, is uh, the sales team because uh, we we booked uh, 30, 30 meetings this week, wow. and okay. uh, that's a great pace. Uh, so we we have had a lot of discussions over the last two weeks that uh, we we the activities they are too low. Mm. Uh, we are spending way too much time on things that we should not focus on and uh, we need to get back to the basics and, and that's what we did this week and uh, um, of course that um, put some uh, really interesting opportunities in the in the sales pipeline as well mm-hmm. so well done sales team yeah great because i know you yeah. also just shared that you know the suit like you said is a bit bigger right now and you need to step up the sales game sales sales yeah. game what is it today with my language i don't know the sales game yeah. and uh, yeah that's good news that uh, it's going in the right direction you know yeah sounds good i mean 30 meetings for me i don't know what's normal what well, sounds sounds good <laughs> let's, let's <laughs> say that okay Ah, yeah, it's good. I would say that's where we should be. Okay. Like uh, uh, each salesperson, they need to like book uh, about like ten weeks. Uh, ten weeks. Something is wrong with my yeah, language yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's on our day. It's the weekend the coming up. People <laughs> like if you have the right pace, you book t- at least ten meetings uh, every week. Okay. All right. So. Is this <clears> the wrap, Matthias? 
this is all you wanted to say and about the week that's the wrap that's the wrap uh, so i have another, another meeting coming up so uh, thanks for watching macron talks and uh, this was episode 186 and uh, the friday episode if you like what we're doing here please subscribe leave a comment that uh, would really make our day and uh, maybe we could bring up a question yep. that you have absolutely so um thanks for watching see you in the next one see you the next one bye bye, -bye.